guys this is Shoromita welcome back to my channel today i'll be making a watercolor painting of a butterfly sitting on a daisy flower for the paper i'm using brustro sketchbook camel watercolor tube paints faber castell brushes and of course water for the color palette i'll be mixing crimson lake with prussian blue and i will give a light wash of this violet created by the mixture of crimson lake and prussian blue here i'm using a round brush of size 10 for covering larger area very quickly this will let the colors easily blend on the paper and will give a smooth wash Now my base coat is ready and I'll be adding some depth to the petals. So I'm creating an illusion of shadow to make the petals look more 3D. I'm using the same round tip brush for creating the shadows but for this time I have added less water to the color mixture so that it will keep the color mixture more concentrated and it will give a nice shadow effect on the petals and later on i'll be blending it towards the outer areas of the petals I'm also creating some thin creases on the petals. For creating higher value of shadow, that is more darker shadows on the darkest areas of the inner corners of the petals, I have kept the mixture in such a way that the amount of Prussian blue is more than crimson lake in the color mixture and it will give a very high value of dark shadow on the petals. I'll be adding multiple layers of shadows and creases to create more depth and realism. For creating highlights, I have not used white paint, instead I have just left those areas where we have the brightest tones. I mixed the shadows and the creases on the petals very smoothly to a lesser extent. This will give the petals smoother and much more realistic effect. Let's paint the butterfly. I'm using the same round tip brush for painting the wings of the butterfly and for the base layer I'm using lemon yellow. First I'm applying a light touch of lemon yellow and then gradually I'll build gradient using permanent orange. I'm painting the base layer of the center of the flower the same way I did with the butterfly. The base layer of the butterfly is dry and now I'm adding some details on the blocks of the butterfly's wings. Here I'm using a thin round brush of size 0 and the color is permanent orange. And I kept the color more concentrated by adding less water. This will make the painting look more vibrant. I'm doing the same with the center of the flower also. For adding depth and realism to the core of the daisy flower, I'm adding shadows using black color 
and I'm gradually blending this with the permanent orange. I'm also adding shadows on the inner corners of the petals with the same black color. Finally, I'm painting the remaining portion of the wings using black color. I'll be filling this completely black. And guys, if you have watched this video till now, then give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for more art tutorials like this one. I'm adding another layer of black color on the shadows of the center of the flower. Also, I'm adding some details using the same black color. Moving on towards the wings of the butterfly, adding the black color gives dimension to the wings and makes the color more vibrant and bright. While filling the wings with black color, I'll be leaving some portions on the wings as it is. It will create some patterns like polka dots. Guys, to comment below, how did you feel about this tutorial till now? I'm filling the body of the butterfly in the same fashion. That is, I'll be filling the body with black color using the same small tip round brush and there will be some white portions in between. Well, I'm filling the tail completely black. Now, as I add the final details on the wings of the butterfly, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. You can also subscribe my shorts channel. The link is added in the description box. Also, I have added my social media handles in the description box. Okay, now back to painting. Notice how I'm adding these fine details using the small tip round brush which really brings life to the butterfly. I'm adding some more spikes and details on the core of the flower using permanent orange. Now let's move on to painting the stem of the daisy flower. And here I'm using a round brush of size 10 and the color is sap green and I'm creating a gradient from the upper portion to the lower portion and for shadows i have mixed prussian blue with sap green i'm painting the antennas of the butterfly with the black color using the same small tip round brush guys feel free to leave a comment below with any questions or suggestions for future videos I love hearing from my viewers and appreciate your support. I hope you had fun and enjoyed the process of creating this art. And there you have it, a beautiful butterfly on a daisy flower. I hope you love the outcome of this painting as much as I do. See you guys in the next video. Bye.